Hi, my Figma plugin numerator just got a big update. So let's check out how easy it is to number frames and pages with it. The plugin is super simple and works with commands, so it won't get in your way while you're working on Figma. All you need to do is set the flags, current and total, or their short versions C and T. The plugin will only count elements with these flags, letting you keep other elements on your Figma canvas as you need. There are three main contexts for calling commands, root frames, inner frames, and page names. Root frames. This starts numbering on the active page. The plugin will look for current and total flags in frame names, component instance names, and text node content. Elements with flags can be inside sections or groups. Let's look at three basic examples of root frames commands. Example 1. There are nine frames on the canvas, all with flags in their names and text nodes. We select the root frames command group in the plugin in one of the eight directions. Voila! All frames are numbered and the plugin kindly shows us a notification of what it did and places relaunch buttons for quick access to recent commands. Example 2. Frames on the canvas are grouped into sections for convenience. Here we use different versions of flags, both short and long. Not all frames have flags, so the plugin will only count nodes with flags. Let's see how it works. Example 3. On the canvas, there is a deck example based on a slide component with flags in several places. Our numbering works great here too. Awesome. We've got the hang of root frames commands. Now let's dive into inner frames commands. It's the same deal, but we need to select the parent node to start, so the plugin understands the context. We pick one of the lists on the canvas, go to the inner frames command group, and choose one of the eight directions. Let's number different groups differently now. Sweet. For numbering page, we use the same syntax but a different command group, page names. Let's give it a shot. As you can see, the numerator plugin seriously simplifies numbering for presentations and more. It also supports multiple users working on a file by saving data within the file. Now let's check out some additional features to show off the truly convenient UX. Imagine you are a bit lost or want to check where the flags were. The plugin offers two restore command groups to bring back flags and values. Now you can easily restore flags in different contexts and if needed, bring back saved data from the file. Fantastic. Your numbering workflow just leveled up.